Thus did Serenoa ascertain the scale's true purpose. Taking up the mantle of his late father, Lord Simone, and the ill-fated Dragan, Serenoa returns to present his allies with a bold new vision for Norzelia's future. I have made up my mind. We turn the salt crystals over to no one, but we do not keep them for ourselves. Instead, we distribute them equally to every person across Norzelia and change the face of the continent. Do you hear yourself? Do you mean this sincerely, Serenoa? What if the Rosal? I speak my conscience. And I promise I have not forgotten the Roselle. Pray, grant me the time to explain my strategy. We must put an end to the teachings if we are to release the salt to all Norzelians. Which is to say, the holy state of Hyzant must fall. So we are to take a Benedict's proposal? No. I propose we attack on three separate fronts. At the same time? We will use our domain's wildfire to prevent Hyzant from capturing the mines. Meanwhile, I wish to negotiate an accord with Esfrost that affords us use of the Death Snell. I know full well the risks involved. However, I believe we can convince Svarog, who opposes the Archduke, that an alliance is worthwhile. Finally, we expose the falsehoods that prop up Hyzant's precious teachings and incite another Rosellan uprising. In one fell swoop, we can abase the Hierophant and throw the capital into chaos. That accomplished, we shall sack the Holy State with Esfros at our side. With both the Source and the Crystals in our possession, no one in Norzelia will ever want for salt. We can bring peace, equity, and stability to all Norzelia, just as Roland envisioned. We can restore the Wolfort name to its former glory and usher it into a new era, as Benedict desires. An era, my dear Frederica, in which the Roselle shall be free once and for all. What I ask may sound impossible, but we have survived long odds before. Let us cling together and do so once again. Do any present have objections to the path I have set before us? None for me, lad. You've quickened the very blood in my veins. Permit me to speak plainly, Your Majesty. I am in agreement with Lord Serenoa. We cannot dream our desires into reality. Some things must be fought for and won. We've tried your way, Benedict. It's time we tried something new. What say you three? I am ashamed to admit that my obsession with the Domain's safety may have blinded me to more aggressive solutions. Your plan is audacious, perhaps even reckless, but it is not impossible, and may well be worth the risk. House Wolfort is better for having you at its helm, Lord Serenoa. The fate of my people always felt so small compared to the war raging around us. Yet you would still choose to walk a dangerous path, rather than cast the Roselle aside. It would be my honor to fight alongside you, and see this through. I honestly thought Hyzant would rule better than I could. That they would bring prosperity to Norzelia. I shrank from my duties and lost myself to the idea of revenge upon Gustadolf. I may well have betrayed my own kingdom. But you, Serenoa, opened my eyes to the truth. And for you, my friend, as King of Glenbrook, I shall face any enemy and lead our people to glory. Then we've no need of the scales. 
Our path is decided. From here on out, we shall split into three regiments. Allow me to explain the role each has to play. I pray that clarifies what each regiment needs to do. Prolonging the war risks slowly driving the three kingdoms to ruin and starving their people in the process. Not to mention, all involved will lose sight of what they were fighting for if they haven't already. Agreed. Tis for the good of all if we bring it to a swift and decisive end. And so we find ourselves contemplating war on three fronts. Hyzant and Esfrost aren't expecting such drastic action from us. The element of surprise may deliver us victory. As will the leader of each regiment involved in this gambit. I shall lure the Hyzantian army to their doom here at Castle Wolfort. Svarog knows who I am, and swore he would fight alongside me. I shall depart for Esfrost and hold him to his word. Pray. Let me be the one to journey to Hyzant. I would love nothing more than to expose their full idol for all to see, and lead my people to rebel in the name of freedom. Then I shall secure the help of Clarice at the Consortium, in exchange for information about the Salt Crystals. He can secret you inside the capital, and provide you with explosives enough to fell the Goddess. Though we fight on distant fronts, we are bound together in spirit. We fight to the last for Norzelia! For, for Norzelia! No, it can't be. General of Laura? Of the Esfrosti army? Former general, I come to you now as a citizen of Norzelia, nothing more. I come to House Wolfort in search of sanctuary. I beg you, have the mercy to take me in. Wait here. General of Laura, we thought you missing. Indeed, it was your actions that caused my brief disappearance. Though I bear no grudge for how the battle ended. This time, however, I come to you with a humble request. I wish to join your ranks, if you'll have me. You wish to defect? To what end? That we may bring this fraught and fractious chapter of Norzelia's history to a close. I would see those of Lady Cordelia's generation preside over an era of peace and tranquility. You've every right to doubt me when I say Lady Cordelia has touched me. But I swore to be her sword forevermore, not as Frost's. We have long been enemies. You've taken much from us in Esfrost's name. I know you to be many things, General of Laura, but a schemer and a liar are not among them. I trust that you speak true. And your talk of a swift end to this conflict appeals to me. We are of the same mind. My lord. Nevertheless, there remains bad blood between us. There may be some within our ranks who are less than pleased to see you. I expect there will be. I understand their hurt, and have made my peace with it. I will suffer their slings and arrows gladly, if it means bringing peace to Norzelia. I admire your conviction. In truth, we have already arrived at our decision. Your strength is a boon we can neither hope to replicate nor replace. I welcome you, General of Laura, to House Wolfort. My sword is yours, Lord Serenoa. Now, Serenoa, 
Let us divide House Wolfert into three regiments. I leave the allocation of forces in your capable hands. Choose wisely. Once the plan is in motion, we won't have the luxury of adjusting our strategy. Understood. Hyzant raises their army on the presumption they can seize the Grand Norzellian mines for themselves. The Hierophant has ordered them to destroy House Wolfort as well. We, however, will not yield. The Salt Crystals are ours, and we will defend them with our lives. Hyzant shall bend the knee at the tip of our blades. Their army may have the advantage of numbers, but even that will mean not against our wildfire traps. The Hyzantian army blindly obeys the Hierophant, but the Hierophant has no power here. We choose our own path, and we have the courage of our convictions. This battle is but the first step on the path Lord Serenoa has laid before us. Let us take this first step together and rejoice. For Norzelia, now and forever. Twins Gate is sealed. Gustadolf hardens his defenses at the encampment within. We will approach the gate and request an audience. We may yet find common ground with Esfrost. The duchy wields the Death Snell, a weapon capable of reducing the goddess's shield surrounding Hyzant to rubble. We need that weapon if we are to break the Holy State's stranglehold on Salt, and thus Norzelia. I know this may feel a betrayal to some of you. Esfrost invaded us. They are the enemy. They murdered my father and brother. And I will never forget nor forgive them for it. 
But I believe if Father were still here, he would see that I go to Esros for the right reasons. That I ask them for aid so that we may thrive. For above all, a king's duty is to his people. And I would sooner cast out the shadows of the past by building a brighter future than lament our lot in life. I ask for your aid in building that bright future. Let us walk the path set before us by Sarah Noah and lead Norzelia into a new era of peace and prosperity unlike any we've known. To the plan. We shall slip into the capital of the Holy State, disguised as a band of merchants from the Norzelia Consortium. Lord Claris has taken on no small amount of risk in agreeing to help us gain entry. We are truly in your debt, Lord Claris. I stand to gain more from a liberated Norzelia, where Hyzant no longer dictates the terms of trade and commerce. In short, spare no extra thoughts for me. This is as much a business consideration as it is helping those in need. As he says, this is for the future of Norzelia. We now endeavor to destroy the goddess's likeness that serves as a pillar of their teachings. If the Roselin legends are true, we will find that the statue concealed a massive pillar of salt that was stolen from my people. This salt pillar is incontrovertible proof that the teachings and the goddess around which they are built are lies. The faithful will be shaken to their core, and the Hierophant's power will wane. With luck, we may even show the Roselle they were without fault, inciting them to rise once more and cast off the yoke of their oppressors. This is nothing less than a battle to wrest control of Norzelia from the clutches of a capricious and vengeful goddess. Have you prepared the explosives, Lord Claris? Prepared and loaded onto a cart, my lady. Enough to bring the goddess back to Earth, I should think. Excellent. Then let us depart. You are a marvel, Lady Frederica. A Rosellen with as frosty blood, fighting under House Wolfort's banner. Who better than you to challenge Hyzant's tyranny? Do you not feel the weight of destiny upon you? This is not destiny, Lord Claris. Nothing could be less certain than the moment in which we find ourselves. Sarah Noah and I have traveled a long, hard road together. It brought us here, but it does not end here. And so we walk on. Now you seek to fell the goddess. You are possessed of an iron will, if you'll forgive the expression. I shall take that as a compliment. Watch over us, mother.